Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Listen, I'm not trying to push fear porn or anything, you know, but uh, sometimes I just give out information so that people can prepare accordingly. Um what did Jesus tell us to be as wise as serpents and as harmless as doves? Well, that's what I try to be as wise on the to be as wise as the evil ones on their plans. Now, let me let you know a little quick story. I do not claim to be a prophet by any way shape or form but when I first came to the Lord I was reading the Bible for the first time 1990 and uh, I was doing a bunch of Bible studies but but also going through the Bible uh, from cover to cover but also doing Bible studies which is funny because I was doing like four or five Bible studies all at the same time uh, my uh, drinking and druggy buddies thought I'd lost my mind because uh, I didn't want to go out and hang out with them and, you know, drink and smoke and do all the stupid crap that I used to do. So, you know, that's the thing. Uh, you don't have to separate from the world. The world will separate from you. And... Uh, yeah, they, they thought I'd lost my mind. So, But the point is, I had been, been seriously in the Lord for about maybe five months, maybe six. And I just finished reading the entire Bible from cover to cover. Uh, no, it didn't take me five or six months to read the Bible from cover to cover. But like I say, I was doing several Bible studies simultaneously. On various topics that I cover a lot of but uh, I got to the book of Revelation and I was in prayer asking the Lord what is the mark of the beast I uh, inquiring minds want to know so I went to sleep woke up the next morning got the Palm Beach Post newspaper open it up start reading it, you know. And uh, there was an article in there, a uh, veterinarian, nice Jewish guy, by the name of, I think his name was Kunz, K-U-N-Z, which is uh, not a real common Jewish name, but, you know. And he was touting his business about injecting pets with microchips. There's a company that has a microchip and they call it digital angel well just remember one-third of the angels fell from heaven right digital angel so uh, yeah if you lose your pet and it's got the microchip well they've got a scanner and they can you know scan the chip and say oh okay this dog is named Fido and he belongs to mr. and mrs. John Smith um, Gives the address, maybe a phone number, you know, their shots, and all that kind of good stuff, and, you know, return the pet, whatever, right? My father got a dog, a German Shepherd, really sweet dog, and uh, she uh, took her to the vet, the vet scanned her, and I don't, I don't remember how he got her. Uh, Dad had over... 20 something dogs in our lifetime and it's hard to remember all the details for all the dogs but uh, and I might have been gone at that time but the vet scanned the chip and the dad's dad says well you know does the dog have a chip and the vet's like uh, yeah the dog's got a chip but I can't read it he goes what do you mean you can't read it he says evidently this is some type of a military chip so what was really strange was this big dog, big German Shepherd, probably 85 pounds, really sweet girl, uh, 
Fourth of July, she'd go hide in the bathtub. Boy, she was scared. Noise. Uh, she'd see a plane or a helicopter in the sky, and she'd watch it. She was a military dog. She saw action. I mean, no doubt about it. So the military's got chips for their dogs. Uh, the uh, regular companies got chips for their dogs. But the point is, I asked the Lord, what is the mark of the beast? And then there's this article in the newspaper about the chips. And I was a business and computer science major in college. And I thought about it. And I, you know, I was thinking, wow, uh, suppose they put all your government identification on a chip. Matter of fact, uh, these ID 2020 smart, uh, these driver's licenses and your passports, they have chips in them, believe it or not. They, uh, a lot of them, they're getting rid of, well, maybe they haven't gotten rid of them, but the magnetic strips, uh, they got chips in them and they can read it. They can read the information. Your bank cards have got chips. What would happen if they combined your government ID with your bank information and put it on a chip, you know? But uh, there was an interesting article. Perhaps I'll, I'll get a couple of the articles and posted in the comments section, pinned, pinned on the top, that Michigan's uh, one of Michigan's legislatures wants to pass a law, if they haven't already, that employers in Michigan cannot force you to get a chip. So evidently, there are employers that want to force their employees to get microchips. For what reason, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe, you know, there's in Sweden, they're doing it. Maybe they're using the microchip for some kind of a reader to gain access to the building. You know, they have uh, card readers. A lot of hospitals use them. You know, the nurses wear them around their necks. But, you know, you could steal one and get in. But, you know, if you got a microchip on your hand, right hand, or in your forehead, like the Bible says, I mean, what are you going to do? Go to, you know, cut off somebody's right hand and, you know, hit the reader, scanner? Somebody might get suspicious, but, uh, yeah. But I do believe that that was what the Lord showed me. And I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying, you know, if it if if that wasn't the Lord showing me, it's quite a coincidence. And I'm not saying it's the same microchip. It might be something different. I don't know. You know, I, I don't know everything. Uh, I mean, Jesus didn't even know the day of his return. Only the Father, he said. And if Jesus doesn't know something, you know, who am I? Um, I didn't even have enough brains not to go to Arkansas. So... Yeah, that that situation still hasn't even been resolved. Please pl pray for me, people. I need it, really. Um, things are really, really heating up. Uh, but the thing is, this article that I read said that businesses in Michigan could not force employees to take the, the chip. But that doesn't for, uh, stop the governments from forcing people to get a chip. I mean, let's face it. They could put your name, your identifying, identifying information, your bank account, um, your vaccine information. A few years back, I found out that Florida had a um, statewide vaccine database. After the doctors give you a vaccine, they enter it into the statewide database. They know every vaccine that you've had. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? And that's, you think Florida's the only state? I don't think so. You know, so they'll have your health information, um, banking information, identification. Uh, they could put everything on, a, on the chip. And they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller. 
I mean, the ones they had back in the 90s were about the size of a grain of rice. I've heard they're a lot smaller now. You know, but what do I know? Um, you know, I took computer science. I also took some electronics training uh, in vocational school. So, you know, I had a pretty solid background on this stuff. It's as if the Lord's hand was uh, training me for this stuff, I guess you could say. I, if, if not, it's what a coincidence, you know. But the thing is, um, I was always a hard head, and I had to get a brick to knock some sense into my head, and the Lord did that. And he had to kick kickstart me literally with a a big boot but uh, yeah i finally had some sense knocked in my head and uh got knocked off the fence got kick-started and here we are and like i say i'm not trying to you know do fear porn you know it's just telling people prepare uh you know pre-tribbers they are I truly believe they're deceived by the Lord himself. I mean, they are absolutely positive. They're not going to be here. They're not preparing themselves spiritually or physically. I mean, even Joseph knew that there would be seven years of famine, and he prepared. And what, did, what are, what are pre-tribbers doing? They fight everything. that Virtually everything that I would believe and taught they would fight. And they actually believe the Antichrist that curse Jesus are God's chosen people. Uh, I can't figure that out, but, you know, I believe Christians are God's chosen people. You know, and they call that a heresy. Believing God's, uh, believing Christians are God's chosen people is a heresy. Believing the Antichrist our God's chosen people is sound doctrine and rightly dividing the truth, they say. Uh, I, I, I can't, yeah. God deceives people. What can I tell you? He does. Uh, he lets Satan deceive people too. But, um, you know, that's the thing. Maybe the, maybe the chip won't be the mark of the beast. Maybe it'll be something like it. I don't know. But I tell you what, it sure fits the bill. It really does. So, and, uh, you know, the employers, and, and why would Michigan pass this law or want to pass this law? I don't know if they have. But, uh, you know, there's nothing to prevent the government from passing the law. When I was in the Army in the mid-70s, um, when I was wanting to get paid i had to every payday i think it was the first i don't remember it's either the end of the month or the beginning of the month you'd walk in you'd salute the officer in charge uh give him your name rank serial number count your money sign your name to the sheet that you received it give him a salute do an about face and march out now you can't even you know you want to get well, they pay welfare people, uh, social security, unemployment. Everything is through the banks. You know, everything. I mean, any kind of government service, they, you know, social security won't even uh, send you a check through the mail anymore, as far as I know. And my employer, uh, I work for a city, um, they told us one day, you're going to have direct deposit. That's it. You know? If you don't... Uh, well, I, I, as I understand it, if you pushed them hard enough, they'd, they would write you a check. But they made it sound like you couldn't have a check. You had to go direct deposit. Had to go to the bank. So, you know, it's, it's getting there, people. And if you don't have the mark... They press a few buttons. You don't have any access to any money. Boom. You don't get the vaccination that they want. Boom. They cut you off. 
you can't travel. You know, police pull you over and, oh, uh, let me see your hand. I'm going to scan it for your uh, driver's license. That's coming. I'm pretty, pretty sure. You know, um, your criminal records could be on there. Everything. Your life story. And I'm not saying it is, but I'll tell you what. If it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck and it waddles like a duck, chances are, yeah, it's a duck. You know. And like I say, I don't claim to be a prophet. I'm just some guy that's read the Bible a few times and tries to keep up with the, uh, the news. Not because I enjoy reading the news, but I like to know where the devil's kids are hurting us not hurt as an injury but hurting like a cattle or sheep um, sometimes I watch TV just for that purpose just to see what kind of filth is on and then look and go what kind of brainwashing is this what is the purpose of it you know and uh, it's amazing like uh, for example, I used to like watching Star Trek back back in the day, um, back in the 60s. And then when I became a, a believer and studied the Bible, I realized everything that Star Trek ta taught is the opposite of what the Bible teaches. You know, they teach uh, a multicultural Tower of Babel, and the Bible teaches separation and segregation. Uh, they didn't even have cash in Star Trek. They had um, credits, electronic type currency. They were pushing that in 66 or 67. People, this been, Satan's plan's been in the works for a long time. I mean, it's just absolutely, it's amazing. Just absolutely amazing. So, you know, what can I tell you? All right, well, uh, I can't think of anything else, and uh, I'll post the Michigan article about the chip, and, you know, it, you know, it's, uh, things are, things are heating up, you know, if you don't have the chip, uh, you won't be able to buy or sell. Oh, you want to buy food? Well, you don't have the chip. Go to the government office and get your chip. You know, 666 coming right up. But, you know, they're not stupid enough to, to put 666 on your forehead. I mean, come on. They're not that stupid. Um, of course, they're stupid to reject the Lord, but uh, they're not that stupid. So... All right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world, in Jesus' precious name, all glory and honor to Him. Amen.